What's going on everyone? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you five different ways that you can access and use filters in your machine workflow. As you may know or will find out, there are often multiple ways to achieve one goal in machine. So when it comes to filters, there are five ways that I know how to access and use them and that's what I'm going to share with you today. I hope that sharing one of these five methods will open your eyes to the possibilities and hopefully one of these methods will resonate with you so you can use it in your workflow. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have this kit loaded up here from this expansion pack bump and flavor. I'm just going to set a four on the floor kick pattern with the drum to demonstrate these filters. Okay. So the first one and the easiest to do is to access the filter through the sampler module. So if I go to plugin, it's currently set to sampler. If I go to page three, and you see this is page one of six, two of six, page three right here, you have this filter option. So if I play this, I could access a low pass filter and then I could adjust the cutoff here so it's really low. And then I could open it all the way up. If I do a high pass, well, you have band pass as well, but high pass only let the highs through. If I turn it all the way down, that just sounds normal. Okay. So that's the first method. The second method is to add an actual filter to this plugin chain here. So if I have this four on the floor going, I'll go add right here, and then I'll go down to filter. Same thing by default, it's on low pass. You could adjust the frequency knob to put it all the way low. Keep it up. Increase the residence. And so forth. Also, you have the high pass. Only the highs through, and then you bring it down to let more of the low end. Okay, that is the second way. Let me delete this for the third method. The third way to access a filter and use it is to use perform effects. So imagine I have this group here, just my kick, and I want to use the perform effects filter. So what I'll do is I'll hit shift perform effects. It's going to add the perform effects to the group here. So by default, it's set to filter and low pass. So with this, I could hold or move my finger down this touch strip and it'll close the filter up. If I set this to high pass, okay. One thing you could also do with this is record automation. So let's say you have that going. And if this happens, you have this. So you have this going here and you just recorded that automation and you could do this however you want, but that's another way that you could use a filter in machine. The fourth way, to filter your sounds is to use an EQ. We'll use it to subtract the frequencies to replicate a filter. So the first way we could do it is to use an internal EQ that comes with machine. So I'll play this. I'll go here and I'll add, I'll add the EQ. You have this set up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the gain on the highs and the mids to create a low pass filter. So you hear that? Oops, let me turn automation off and get rid of that. Okay, so let me restart. You decrease this to replicate a low pass filter. If you want to further increase or decrease, you could take some of these low mids out. So, so now you're just left with the low end, really. Okay. In the alternative, let me set these back to zero. Okay, so imagine we're right here. You want to create a high pass filter. Now we're going to decrease the lows and the mids and you could decrease the high mids, okay? You can move this over. Create that high pass filter sound, okay? So that's the fourth way to filter your sounds in machine. And lastly, the final way, the fifth way, is we are going to utilize a third-party plugin. So this is the way that I like to do it myself. Uh, you could use Ozone 10, you could use Pro Tool or Pro EQ or whatever it is. I like to use Isotope Neutron 4. So I'll load this onto my sound here. And right when you open it, you have this equalizer here. And if I wanna create a low pass, I'm just gonna right click, go low pass. I could change the slope of this and just drag this in to create that deeper sound, right? You could also make a resonant low pass. So you have that resonance right there. 
you can increase it and decrease it and move it like that. Okay. And if you want to create a high pass, same thing. Take out the lows. Now you're just left with the highs. And you can also do the resonant. Okay. And those are the five ways that you can access and use filters in machine. If you like this, let me know by commenting, subscribing. Let me know how I'm doing. And I'll get started working on the next machine tutorial. I'll see you then.